Damn, I tried watching that, that Netflix show Hollywood. What's that? What is it? It's. I mean, I only watched the first episode, but Jesus, what a piece of shit. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I, I always, it was the first thing I opened it. I because I don't want to watch anything. And I opened yeah. Netflix. Netflix is like, here, watch this. I was like, fine. It's the yeah. first thing there. And it's the 40s. And it's like supposed to be about Hollywood in the 40s, I guess. Is okay. it scripted or a documentary? Scripted. Hi, hello. Hey, Jackie. Go over here, kid. Say, what time did you get here? Uh, about an hour ago. Early birds getting worms and such. Sure. And uh, it's a, immediately kind of abrasive in this, like, uh, Hey, it's the the forties, uh, Tom Boy. How you doing? You know, right, like just, right, right. but like there's still lens in the John Farrow picture with Alan Ladd and Donna Reed. Lensing, lensing. It's how you say filmmaking in Hollywood. He is yelling lingo, fella. There's, there's times when people are like too excited to be acting. Yeah, you for know sure. what I mean. I hate that. And it like fucking fucks up. Like the 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 most glaring example of that is probably the Ocean's Eleven movies. Mm. I think they, especially I don't mind those especially the sequels where they're like boys are all back together and we're making a movie like every scene is you're just watching these people make a movie right. I like that nothing goes wrong in those movies and I feel like with like they're, period dramas it's like particularly apparent I guess but, yeah cause it's the theater kid and, and the actor jumps the fuck out yeah when you're wearing a fucking stupid costume and you're talking stupid, yeah, it's like you're in fucking high school all over again, pretending not to be gay. Right. Well, if it's bad, that happens, but it could be done well, obviously. What do you want? I run a service station, and business is booming. I could use a good-looking fellow like yourself pumping gas. Anyways, yeah, I guess. Yeah. So then the show, and then and then the show is apparently just gay sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's not. A- Anything else that seems to happen. It's about this guy that wants to be an actor. And so he has to, he becomes a prostitute and then he has to fuck an old lady. And then like, like his boss tries to make him fuck a gay guy. And he doesn't want to fuck the gay guy. So he goes and he finds a gay guy and a gunpoint forces the other gay guy to fuck gay guys for him or whatever. And it's like. That sounds pretty funny. But it's like, what does this have to do with the 40s? It's like this could, this could take place at a Home Depot now. It's like it doesn't need to be Hollywood. It doesn't need to be. This is just an outlet for someone's like gay sex fantasies. 100%. Yeah. I'm not doing it. End of story. Okay. I see how it goes. You don't get to set the terms of your employment here, Jack. I do. Is it just like L.A. Confidential it's also, the show? No, there's no noir element. I mean, there's like fucking. Really? Yeah, there's no like mystery. It's like this fucking. I mean, maybe it develops. It's just gay sex. Maybe it develops. Wearing, wearing zoot suits. But the pilot's fucking, it's atrocious. I mean, it's like, yeah. it really is fucking bad. Was it recommended to you or something? No, Netflix. No, you just open you Netflix. Netflix oh, it was just on Netflix. Yeah, okay. it just came out. So it's like on their like recent show. Beats washing dishes. And I like doing it. Why not get paid with something that feels good and you was going to do it anyways? It's there, also yeah. really funny to be like, you know what the world needs? is a mo- It's a show about Hollywood, the sexual violence that takes place You're in right. Hollywood against men. Against, well, <laughs> okay. it's not that, that's like, that's kind of like a woke take on it. Which, that's funny. Which, yeah. But it's like, would really, I mean, it's like normalizing that behavior and it's done because it's like, you know, like it's fun if you're gay. You know what I mean? Right. right. It's not like it's not like that shit stopped in Hollywood. I mean, right. Like, right you right. get the one guy like we'll fucking throw Weinstein or whoever at them, but it's like there's still going to be predatory pedophiles and whoever. You know, uh, Brian Singer is going to continue doing what Brian Singer does. Yeah. And so this he's still getting work. Singer gonna singer, baby. Yeah, he was about to do Red Sonia, right? And they took him off it. Yeah. But yeah. the, the 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 your your point about like oh against men or whatever the tone of it isn't like oh this is bad that this is happening. Sweet beans in a basket. Who do the guy stuff? Ask him. The price is right. The thing is, if you if you <laughs> it's if you made it about a woman, it would rightfully be viewed as disgusting and as exploitative and like like as apologia as it is. Right, right, right. And so it's like. Even it goes like against whatever woke point you want to make about like, oh, well, I guess it's more important to talk about guys, you know, which is like, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah, no, it's it. So what you're saying is it makes it even less. What What do you mean? Well, the, the point you're making, right, is that like that it's funny that they would do a show about guys getting raped in Hollywood instead of women. Yeah. If you're going to do that show. Yes. Why? 
because it happens to women more. I guess, yeah, that's the point that it runs counter to that point because if you made that show with that tonality and about a woman being right, you're exploited in that even, way, it's even, there would be outrage. It's right, like right, right. the fact that they could just like make it like a But because funny. it's gay guys, it's like, Haha, isn't this funny? He's sucking cock. Right, exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it is funny. Ernie West. How'd you call me? You're going to do a lot of business, kid. I can tell just by looking at you. To be fair, as a sketch, Very funny. pointing a gun at a guy's head and making him suck dick for you so you don't have to suck dick is pretty funny. Yeah. Well, he doesn't do that. <laughs> he goes into a movie theater and finds a gay guy trying to solicit sex for money. And he then at gunpoint kidnaps him. <laughs> and then he's like, you need to do gay sex for my boss so I don't get fired because I'm only supposed I only want to fuck women. <laughs> oh, that's. Very right. enterprising. Gun, the gun point is the only problem there. If he cuts him in on the racket, then it's like, then you're almost like a subcontractor. Yeah. Mm. That gay guy's a subcontractor. Yeah. How about Adam getting a construction job? And he's like, yeah, I'm a subcontractor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. They're like, Adam, no, that doesn't mean you suck all yeah. the contractors did. I, I do drywall and bareback. <laughs> I'm a subcontractor. Where are all the dom contractors? <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> 